state control. And when I say state, like state of mind, your well-being. So I'm trying to get more of these and less of these. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your man, Brandon Carter. We about to get in this quick six-minute abdominal workout. Just do one of these real quick. Hell no. No? No. Why not? I can't do that. What do you mean? I can't. Right. Well, just, just, just do it real quick. Everybody else out turning up, partying. I'm working. Hell's over everything! Hell's over everything! Never be a victim. I gotta do shit. <laughs> I ain't doing 60 nothing right now. I ain't playing your fucking game, nigga. <laughs> 60 push ups now. I'll stop what I'm doing and get 60, 60 push ups to your bitch ass. <laughs> I didn't know you like that, man. Nigga, I met you once. That was for you. I did that for you. Alright. You know, I started thinking about something else. I want supplements in front of y'all. Right. Yo, what up, what up? It's your man Brandon Carter, aka King Keto. We're about to get in this quick. Four minute workout. Uh, it's gonna really help you build abs. Ah. <laughs> Bella's gonna be doing the hard versions. <laughs> Remember, diet is the most important part. So, yeah. oh. Man, I can't do that. I, 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 oh, yeah. I, I can do that. I can do this or something. <laughs> Oh shit! And, and, you, and the, every course is like a thousand dollars, right? Your course is thousand dollars. Yeah. So, well, we're selling it for seven hundred. I give them like a three hundred dollar discount link. It's like an incentive. I got you. I got you. I got you. State control. So basically, this is like controlling your state. And when I say state, it's like the state of mind, your well-being, how happy you are, your mood. It's like a good day. You feel good. Maybe some good things happen. But the good things happen to make you feel good, right? It's all about how you how you feel, man. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to restore the feeling. When you feel good, you're in like a good feeling state. When you feel bad, you're in a bad state. This is one to ten. Like ten, you feel amazing, incredible. I mean, one, you know what I'm saying? Like you're sitting at a table, Jack Daniels, loaded revolver, trying to figure out if you're gonna go to work today or not. And maybe this is like time. Like you're gonna have like certain spikes throughout the day. Like, you know, maybe you wake up and you don't feel so good. But maybe you do something, maybe you work out, you feel a little better, and then you go to work, ah, it's awful, but then something happens, you get a raise. It's like, most people's shit is all over the place. You have an average, and maybe like, this is like your average. Okay. And that's what your average state is. I should've, that should've been a straight line, but you know, I'm me, so. And then maybe that's your, your baseline state, fluctuates, yeah. And, and that's everybody. Everybody's gonna go through the full range of emotions. No one's happy all the time, but you will have an average, a baseline state. And like some people's baseline state is lower. These people, we call them depressed, sad, unhappy people. Then you meet a motherfucker who's like full of energy, life, you know, maybe his, his baseline state is higher. It comes from the collection of these averages, these data points throughout the day. Each day has an average. You have like a bunch of good shit happening today, that day's gonna be high. The week will have an average. You have a good week or you have a bad month. It's a collection of all these little data points over time. Just making sense. The key is to get this green line up and then you're having like a better life. And if you have a collection of better days, you have a better week. You have a collection of better weeks, you have a better month. You have a collection of better months, you have a better year. You have a collection of better years, you have a better life. But it all starts with these mo with these each moment. Now, how do you get this up? I almost feel like I need another color, but whatever. You get this up by like focusing on more peaks and less valleys. So the so so the baseline goes up. And how do you do that? Well, this is something that I, I used to do years ago. Is I would track my mood throughout the day. So I kept a little thing in my pocket. I would like track my mood on paper. So I would make a graph like this, and this would be the hours of the day that I feel. And then when it when it was like a high peak, something that was above average, I write down why, like next to it, like what what happened. I, I made some money. You know, I had a good conversation with my mom, or maybe uh, you know. I had a blow job, right? You know what I'm saying? That's a peak. Then the valleys is like, yo, uh, maybe, you know, I lost some money. 
uh, maybe I'm stressed out, maybe I'm sleepy. And then I, I, would, I would take the theta, and then after like a certain amount of time, you start seeing the patterns, right? And you say, okay, these things make me mad. So I try to get more of these and less of these. And then what I would notice is the averages throughout the day, once I had the data started going up, I started feeling better each day. And then what happens is you start feeling better each week. What you want to do is just try to try to hit these peak states or whatever whatever it is. And it could sometimes it's just mental. I'll just will myself to feel that way. Because sometimes it's just what you focus on. There's good shit happening now, right? You know, I got I got a wonder, a wonderful group of employees. I can focus on those things, you know. Oh man, you know what? That did that does suck, but I do got millions of fans and I am rich. Sometimes it's that, or sometimes it's circumstances, like you know, some you know, damn man, that chick is really tripping, man. It's a dump her. You know, whatever it is. Especially if you notice if it's a person making you feel that way, it's like, then you really need to reassess things. What's a 10? Like, what, what feeling is a 10? Do you even know? And how often do you feel that feeling? So how often do you feel that feeling of a 10? Sometimes people only feel that feeling if like, um, you know, if the Bulls were to win a championship. <laughs> right? Some people are like, the sports team has to win a championship to, for them to get be like a 10. If you're me, you know, then you haven't been a 10 in 20 years. You know, last time the Bears won a championship, I was like two years old, maybe. You know, so you gotta look for moments, more moments like this, and maybe like get excited about little stuff. You know, maybe it doesn't have to be a big thing for you to feel that excitement. You can manufacture it, not fake it, but like really just get excited like the way a kid would. Like really embrace like the, that, the good things that happen to you and like, and cherish those moments, man. And maybe like making these bad things not a, not such a big deal. Maybe they're not a big deal. Maybe your life's not falling apart. You can get excited about somebody, you know, the, the shit that you've been taking for granted too. So like really trying to get those those tens, you know, like first seeing what makes you happy and then trying to amplify that thing and then looking for more things to get you up here. That's gonna raise your baseline. One way to track, I found I finally found an app. I'm not getting paid by these fools. I finally found an app. It's called Mood Tracker. It's the one with the little smiley face. But what it does is it tells you what, what, what you can like rate it one to 10. It's an iPhone app. And then let's say right now, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. And then I hit the, I'm feeling good. And I type what's going on in here. Mm. Yeah. So and if you put a hashtag, a hashtag, what am I doing right now? Making content. So basically I put that in there and now you can see now it gives me a summary of like my baseline. Like this, like I said, just like I did right here. It, it does it for you. It gives you the summary of your baseline. And then you can see like, what are the positive things? Are here are the things that are making me feel good. Here are the negatives. Here are the things that make you feel bad. I didn't hashtag a lot of them, cause, but you can get them. You, know, you get what I'm saying? So it's like my average is, I'm, I'm, I'm averaging like a seven, which ain't, which ain't bad at all. Yeah. You know? I've been sleepy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should like start getting a little bit more sleep or something. You want to be see that that this line go up. And I used to do this manually before I found this app. I tried a bunch of different apps. It's the only one I like. Stay control. But you gotta have the data too. It's not just be happy. It's like let's be scientific about it. How often do you track? I set it to hit me up every two hours. Every two hours. Me. But I but I would try to do it every hour initially. But that's annoying. Two hours is probably good. Or whenever I think about it, especially a real peak or a real valley like I know to hit it but it, I have it set to ask me I'm real selective about notifications on this not, not everything can give me notification you know so Shopify strike when we get money though I get notifications my calendar gives me a notification and this the only things I can think of is no Instagram a text message won't send them a notification like I, I, I see it when I see it if I see it you know fuck you <laughs> so I'm, I'm selective about that yeah. <laughs> Yes! Belly, is you ready to go, man? You ready to go? We still waiting on you. We still waiting on you, fam. Yeah, I'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> you second, man. Get your shit together. I'm gonna drink this, and hopefully you'll be ready by then. Two thousand years later. I have a history of taking a really long time to get ready. Yo, man. Hey, that sound like, that sound like disrespect. I love this respect. It's lovely. <laughs> Dag right quick. I'll go to the gym, huh? We do this shit every week, so this ain't even the end end. It's just the end of this part. Yeah, it's just the end of the day. Maybe. Yo, I'm, af I'm yeah. afraid to like an R&B singer. You know what I mean? They're always, they're always doing some wild shit. <laughs> Pissing on girls. They're too horny, they're slapping, man. They're slapping bitches. <laughs> they you know? too horny, man. I, be, I like hearing an R&B song. Like, am I allowed to like this song? Mm. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yo, what up, y'all? What's going on? <laughs> welcome, welcome. My name is Brandon Carter. Oh, three keys to dominating your. Hey! <laughs> oh, bless you. Whoa. <laughs> It's live, man. Live. All right, I can't edit it out. Normally, I edit out a sneeze. But now we're gonna get this limited lifestyle. All right, the three keys to dominating your life. My plan. I'm wearing shorts this summer, man. All summer. Mm, I shorts. When they come out. Every, Every single day. Unless I'm wearing like dress clothes, but mm, I'm not wearing man. shorts. That's, you have that's never done dress, that. That's dress shorts. All right, this stuff is beautifully. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, man. What is that? It's a uh, wild caught salmon. Mm -hmm. Some garlic with turmeric, mm -hmm. uh, black pepper, and sea salt. Mm. That's keto friendly, correct? Yeah, I also, I mean, it's keto friendly as is, but I also added um, some butter to cook it on. Mmm. That looks like it. Mm. Wow. Now, this is. Book. Just back to six figures, baby. It's going down. It's going down. Going down. This new book, man. Teach you all about how to build your online fitness business. Oh, nah. about to get in this quick six minute abdominal workout you can build your ab muscles and burn the fat off them i got bella over here and i got marielle that was a slow transition transition fam <laughs> via I did 18 Vs before you even did your first one. What is happening right now? <laughs> yo, yo, what did you think? What did you think of the workout? Uh, it's, it's not easy, but it's worth it. Like it. Hey, if you leave a comment on this video, I'm gonna send you a free gift via Facebook Messenger. It wasn't on in the beginning of this video, so if you already left the comment, do it again. All right, and I'll send you a free gift. All right, peace. <laughs> yeah, Ab, when you laugh, it Ab's a girl. Oh, my. You don't have to make that sound. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like what Beyonce would do in like a oh, cup. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> I just get into it. <laughs> like starfish, they come in. Woo! That wasn't me fart. That wasn't a fart. That was my back just making sounds. All right. Did you do it? Oh no. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Just, just do one of these real quick. Hell no. No? No. Why not? I can do that. What do you mean? I can. Try it. Well, just, just, just do it real quick. Mm. But like, just do it. <laughs> well, not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> just kick your feet. Just throw them up. Don't worry about it. You're never more safe yeah. than when I'm holding you. Alright, you just kick them both up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like all the way up. Okay. You got trust. Why? You just got trust. You got to believe. Okay, oh nice. Look at you. You're doing it. You're doing it. Right, now, just, now you just stay there when I let go. That's all you gotta do. No. <laughs> all I gotta do is stay. No. no, I'm gonna let go and you just stay here. Oh, all right, you got it. You got that. Oh. No. <laughs> 